So we just got an order in for a 48 volt custom battery that needs to go into a specific locker in a van. So this is gonna be a super interesting build. Uh, this is off-grid van life and we're gonna take you through the process of actually building out the battery and show you exactly how we do it uh, and we'll talk through any decisions that we make, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, this is the basic layout of what the cells are gonna look like and how we're gonna position them. And the main reason for that is that there's specific dimensions that the customer has asked us to get the battery to fit into. It's quite a deep locker, um, but he's a little bit constrained in terms of the width of the locker. So when we were looking at different configurations of how to actually position the cells, this just felt like it would be the best option in terms of where the cells will go. So could you imagine, <clears throat> this is a uh, pretty much a 14,500 kilowatt hour battery that we're building. Um, so each, each one of these would be the equivalent of our OPS 300, uh, to 300 amp hour battery. Um, and each, each of the stacks would be the equivalent of roughly 500 amp hour lead acid batteries. So you imagine this is the equivalent of roughly 20 uh, lead acid batteries. Yeah. Um, it's going to be heavy. It's going to weigh about a hundred kilograms, uh, and we've discussed it with the client, and he he's going to get some big strong guys in to help yeah. him <laughs> drop it into the locker without dropping it. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna we we've been looking at various configurations. We're looking at putting all the cells just you know, alongside each other, but that would be just too wide. We'd literally have millimeters to spare, maybe, um, but without much uh, room for error. For, for error. Um, so we've decided this is probably the best configuration. It's quite fine to put these cells on their sides. You can obviously not put them upside down, but putting them on their sides is quite fine. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, we'll be sandwiching them and then build something substantial around them so that at least two, if not three guys can pick this up and put it into uh, position. Yeah. So we're going to build a really strong housing around this. We, we're not going to mess around with thin ply or anything. It's going to be 18 millimeter uh, to give it a lot of strength. Yeah, that'll add to the weight, but uh, it's going to make it really strong so that he, he doesn't worry about things breaking when he's moving it about or installing it. Once it's installed, we don't expect that it's going to move yeah. for a very long time, but yeah. It's, it, the trick will be how, do, how does he actually get it through the door and into that locker. That's going to be a difficult one. Let's go. So we've got the two sides uh, for this battery bank uh, made out here or cut and, and then drilled. Um, so you can see here we've countersunk all of the holes uh, so that the um, lock nuts actually sit in there flush so that when the battery is on its side, like it's going to sit in the van, uh, then it's not putting all of the pressure on these points and they can just do what they need to do, which is to actually clamp and hold the thing together. So, it's looking pretty good. We've got the cells positioned where they need to be even, evenly spaced as well. So now we can uh, start actually putting these things through. Nice. I think. Yeah, that's perfect. <clears throat> I should just. That's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> 100 kgs just about here. Okay, so we've got the cells clamped here. Already can feel the weight of this thing. It's going to be very close to 100 kilos, or probably just over 100, 100 kilos, I reckon, once it's uh, built out but we're just gonna move it off the main desk here just because it's gonna take a few days to top balance all of the cells and get it all 
uh, ready to go and uh, ready to actually finish building out. So. Okay, so the method that we use to top balance this battery is that uh, we just connected the BMS onto each bank of four cells um, and then charged it up to a full state of charge just using the BMS. Uh, and that's, So that's the fastest way to get it up to a full state of charge because then you can charge it at 14.6 volts and because you're connecting the BMS to it, it um, is uh, pretty safe in terms of not overcharging a particular cell, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, then we disconnected each one, so we did each one separately. It takes took a few hours to do each one, so those were all done. And now what we've done is just using very thin uh, wire, we've just zigzagged through and uh, connected all of the cells in parallel. So effectively, here we just have a massive three point six five volt battery because they're all connected in parallel, and then use our little pigtails there to connect up to distribute uh, the charge going into this bank to do the final stages of the top balancing using this charger. So that's charging it currently, th uh, it's at 3.56 volts and we're charging at 20 amps. We'll just drop the amperage slowly um, as it gets close to a full set of charge. Once it's 3.65, that'll be it done. The bank will be top balanced and good to go. Then we can connect up the uh, 16S BMS and close everything up and finish the final stages of assembly. All right, so the top balancing is done on this battery. Uh, we left it overnight and it's looking good. So we're going to take all of this off and then we are going to attach uh, the balance leads, put bus bars on here and finish assembling the battery. Okay, so this is where we've got to so far. So BMS is installed on the side, all the balance leads going through a hole over there, Bluetooth module with the on switches over there, the temperature probe, which is obviously this little thing here, goes through the hole there as well, and it is sitting just here on top of the cell, so it's gonna give us a reading of the temperature in the actual case, which is what you want because you want your low temperature disconnect to come on to protect your cells, not anything else. Um, so that's what that's looking like. We decided just to string the balance leads over all of the cells like this rather than extending them. So like these two on the far corners here are not too tight but um, they are pretty much at their limit. The alternative would have been to lay everything and extend them and stuff but we decided to eliminate any uh, possibility of more connections and things like that. So that's how we've done that and uh, just tied it up on the top there a little bit. Main positive wire coming through here when the lid goes on here, it'll obviously close that off, going to a bus bar, which the uh, chargers and loads and everything can be connected to. BMS then connects to another bus bar here. This will obviously all be closed off with the lid. We'll put a side on, on both sides as well. And then when it sits in the van, it'll be lifted like that and dropped in using these handles. It's made with 18 mil ply, so it's going to be very substantial and it's very heavy, probably weighs just over 100 kilos as it is. So if we check the voltage now, it is currently uh, in and around 20 volts, which is to be expected because the it's not on. So that's, do you want to just change the polarity there quickly? Oh, yeah. <coughs> so Jeez. we go and we're gonna, there's the on switch. We always talk about that in our videos. That's the on switch. I'm just gonna show you what happens when we push that. It's gonna turn the BMS on. And we should see, there we go, 57 volts. So the battery's fully charged, full state of charge on this. Uh, obviously it's a 48 volt battery, but 
because it's lithium it's slightly higher than that so yeah it's looking pretty good solid battery big bold look at that thing All right, well, there we have it. The battery is finished and fully built, um, made out of 18 mil ply as the housing, uh, 16 cells, and a 248 volt BMS. So this is a beast of a battery. Probably weighs around 100 kilos. It's, it's a, a, a lump to lug around. We put in these nice handles here, uh, which, which are rounded, which makes it quite easy to maneuver. And the idea is that uh, with this being the top of the battery, essentially the customer will be able to just drop it down into a locker that it goes into. So um, we've already made him aware that he's going to have to enlist a couple of uh, strong friends to help him with that. So with probably th three or four people, you'll get this into a locker pretty easily. Um, put a couple of bus bars on there uh, that he can take off his load and his charge, etc. Uh, on that and that's just connecting using M8 lugs uh, but yeah pretty pleased with how it turned out it's looking pretty good so about 14 and a half kilowatt hours that's a serious amount of power that you get in this box here it's the equivalent of about 20 lead acid batteries quite something yeah and um, and it's uh, it'll at, at 48 volts with a 200 amp BMS, you'll basically be able to run pretty much around 10 kilowatts will be the, the limit of the draw that you can pull on this. So um, it's quite a hefty battery, a uh, lot of capacity. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. So I hope you've enjoyed following the build. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, anything that you want to know or uh, that we should have done differently, leave them in the comments down below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Okay, cheers. And just quickly before I uh, wrap it all up, this is how we are shipping these big batteries now. So putting them onto a pallet.